Some of you may know David Shaw, producer of such <gasps> fine cinematic We shouldn't events. do this till he's here. No, we should do it now. No. We should include him. Yes. We don't have room in our screen for three people. Oh, we can figure something out. No, we can have him run around naked around the house and just, you know, cameo. <laughs> cameo, Dave Shaw running naked through the house. Uh, he doesn't know that we're going to get him to do that. He but thinks look he's for that. For dinner. Look for that at the end of this video. <laughs> anyway, uh, the producer of Kiss Proof World and Gorilla, he's coming to have dinner with us tonight. Yay! We're very privileged. And uh, I don't I'm know, going to get his autograph. I'm not sure exactly what's happening, but I think he's asking something of us. Uh, I'm not sure if he wants funding for his next movie, but it could be that. Uh, if that is the case, he'll be told no. <laughs> but. Um, Yes. We spent the funding on his dinner. We spent the funding to cook him dinner. <laughs> All right, so uh, uh, that's what's happening tonight. And we got a fir our first, uh, the room, if it looks like it's full of smoke, it's because we have a fire in the fireplace. And, uh, you can apparently, hear a little crackling. Apparently we don't have enough uh, airflow coming in. I'm going to have to open a window because I see a lot of smoke. I have a window open. Not, not open enough, I don't think. Oh, great. Do I look oh, like my God. <laughs> Excuse me, there's smoke billowing. I just said that. Didn't I say that yes, there was smoke did. billowing? No. Oh, uh, that's what it, that's the all. Hell? Have a great day. We're going to open windows. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Open windows, put the furnace off. It's still coming out. I'm Dave Shaw, and I'm sitting in Ellen and Joe Rolston's living room. And I've come over here because I wanted to discuss with my two good friends here this upcoming film project that I am announcing right now and plan to start shooting this fall. Basically, it's an epic, a monstrous epic. It's going to be at least, when it's on screen finally, at least six to eight hours long. It basically, what it does is it takes the Russian Revolution and it recasts it with local Ottawa actors as an allegory for what's going on right now with the Harper government and what we could do if we really set out to do it. It's a comedy, it's a drama, it's a musical, it's got action, it's got thriller elements. There is a car chase down the OC Transport bus lanes. It's going to be, as my good friend Vincent Valentino might say, truly epic. And the great thing about it is we plan to use pretty much mm, every actor in the city we can get our hands on, including some that aren't. Many actors will be playing multiple roles, multiple characters, doing multiple dialogues, wearing different uniforms and costumes and suits, playing comedy and drama, and yes, even getting to sing and dance. We plan to start shooting within the next few weeks, and the most exciting thing about it is, for the first time ever, I've secured a very nice sized budget to shoot this film in Ottawa of approximately $900,000. Not only does this mean that will be able to make this film as epic as possible, according to Ottawa budgetary standards. But unlike my last film, Kiss Proof World, I'll actually be able to feed people on set. I'm very excited about this, and I hope you are too. So that's where you come in. Unfortunately, we don't have a title for this project yet. So if you would uh, kindly drop a message after you watch this video on Alan or Joe's, or even my own board, and let us know what it should be called. You might title this incredible nine-hour Russian revolution-themed, shot in Ottawa with Ottawa actors-themed type epic. There's only one problem. I'm just fucking with you. This doesn't exist. Actually, I just came to hang out and have dinner. Anyway, everybody have a wonderful night, and uh, we'll see you, see you on the next blog. Bye-bye. <laughs>